Mental Health Week starts tomorrow and the pandemic has definitely taken a toll on mental health. It's been especially hard for young people and for vulnerable youth. The situation is even more dire. But for the last 16 years, the Sanctuary Youth Centre in Victoria has been a welcoming spot for the vulnerable youth to go. Tess Van Stratton looks at the difference it's making in this week's Vital People. Alicia was on the streets and staying in shelters when she was just 14 years old. I didn't think I would ever be on the streets or struggling with a heroin addiction because it, it's just so easy and it could be it could be anybody really. The downward spiral started after she began hanging out downtown and got into the wrong crowd. Yeah, it's really hard like being so young and not really knowing what you're doing or what's next or where you're going to stay. Or I'll give you some pieces of paper. But Alicia found help and hope at the Sanctuary Youth Centre in Victoria, a drop-in centre for vulnerable youth in the basement of the Church of Our Lord. We support youth in providing them a safe place to come, to hang out and to be themselves and just let their guards down. There's some sugar here. Sanctuaries had 40,000 youth visits in the last 16 years and has warm meals, showers and laundry facilities as well as activities to engage young people like weightlifting, boxing and a pool table. Boredom, if you believe it or not, is a trigger. And what do kids do when they're bored? A lot of times they get into trouble and it spirals from there. That's been especially true during the pandemic, with boredom and isolation taking a big toll on young people and their mental health. Because it was really lonely and I, I was back at my parents' house because I was like so lonely and like I was in quarantine. I found that I was dabbling into like heroin and like a lot harder things than if I was to be out socializing. And sadly, due to the worsening overdose crisis, far too many young lives have been lost, including youth sanctuaries tried to help. There is a lot of overdose or uh, drug toxicity deaths. And uh, in particular, since November, we've seen three young people that we know and worked closely with pass away. And so that's been a difficult part. of Sanctuary, which is supported by 10 local churches, Harborside Rotary and Grants, is trying to help by extending its hours and opening two extra days a week. We do see mental health is a huge issue and we're trying to alleviate that by providing youth with community, a place, safe place to come and to talk to someone if they need to and let them know that they're not alone. As for Alicia, she's now been sober for four months thanks to the support she got from Sanctuary. They've helped me a lot with like treatment planning and like going to treatment and getting sober. They've just helped me a lot and I like how much they help other youth. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.